Stimulation helps babies by helping us to get better at what we do. It can help individuals develop further experience and skill, and it helps teams learn to collaborate. Uh, it provides a safe environment to practice and make mistakes, um, and really learn from them without any of the risks of harming a patient. Simulation uh, allows us to not only teach specific skills or routines and see how individuals react, but uh, it allows us to figure out how individuals make decisions, why they think the way they do. Um, basically, it helps us to get the root, to the root of sometimes the problem, but also the frames that guide their thinking. Caring for a sick baby in the neonatal intensive care areas uh, is a very stressful event in a high-risk, high-turnover area. It involves several professions, and of course, each profession has students and learners that are at different um, stages on the learning continuum. So assessments and interventions and decisions need to happen quickly, and ideally they shouldn't be coming from one person, but they should be coming from the collective experience of the team. Um, the recess teams not only need to practice their own individual skills, but they need to learn to work together and communicate. So developing expertise takes hours of practice. Uh, if you look at other industries that are both highly complex but demand high safety standards, such as the airline industry, pilots are in simulators constantly practicing every possible scenario over and over to develop mastery. Caring for sick babies is also highly complex. It also demands high safety, and we have a lot at stake here. Uh, this is all, it, it's also constantly changing, and we need to stay up to date, and this is a fantastic platform to provide that education and get hands-on practice. Well, the CLSF is a beautiful facility, and um, we use it when we can for some of our educational initiatives. Having a simulation center in the NICU will be a fantastic resource for our staff. It will allow us to practice in a room that is set up to be exactly like the environment our staff actually work in to make it more real for them. Everything will be in the same place that it is in an actual patient room. Um, another benefit will be the close to home location. It's extremely challenging um, and often impossible to get the staff away from the units during their shifts to actually practice. Um, this way they can come in for short sessions during their work day or night, so it'll greatly improve the way we can provide education. Babies can be born with numerous different problems. Um, there are conditions that are extremely complex, but because they only happen a few times a year, it's difficult for all of our staff to maintain competence. Um, having a sim suite will allow us to practice scenarios based on upcoming deliveries uh, or scenarios based on babies that are currently in the unit. And this is called just-in-time simulation. So simulation has so many benefits. Practicing something over and over, which we call deliberate practice until you master it, um, providing close to real life scenarios to build experience, and also scenarios that increase um, the participant's level of engagement. So participants actually retain what they are learning. Um, and then like I discussed, the just-in-time learning to provide education in a timely manner. But the biggest benefit to simulation is actually getting to practice together uh, and run scenarios in an interprofessional group. If you examine critical incidents um, or when things go wrong, they're usually not caused by people uh, not being smart enough or people not having enough years of education, um, but errors often happen because of some sort of communication breakdown. So either someone doesn't feel comfortable um, or are intimid intimidated sharing uh, their thoughts in the group or there's no clear leadership, no clear direction. Um, these are things that can't be taught in silos, but are best taught in the groups we will be working with and actually practicing and experiencing it. I mentioned the airline industry, but look at hockey teams. They practice frequently together before games. The more you practice, the less mistakes you make. Uh, they review tape to see uh, exactly what happened and debrief, which is exactly what we do with simulation. And it's teams that win championships, not individuals. So past donations have contributed by allowing us to start this process and really build towards our vision. Um, we're in the process of creating a series of educational video vignettes that will be easily accessible for our staff based on high-risk newborn resuscitations. This is a resource that will be a great asset to not only our staff, but the babies born with these conditions. And it wouldn't be possible without the generous donations through the Children's Hospital Foundation.